So then, we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation is from the original documents of the Hebrews of old, from the time of the prophets of Israel, giving us then the information required so we can understand then the movement of nations and their aims, what they're trying to do. So then, in terms of Syria, it's very easy understanding that the Chinese and the Soviets must come together and be against Syria. They understand already then China is going to lead the world's market per scripture and Yahweh does not change his mind. So then why are these people then taking so long to make sure then the government of Syria understands that no country is going to do trade with them if they stay in power? How are they going to recuperate the country? Because when the people, they come together, they want to finish up a war, they can do it. Not because of what they are trying to do, it's because then the final line of it. The nations, they come together and they simply are against this crazy leader. And then they simply don't do trade with this particular country anymore until the government is changed. Because we understand China is going to lead So from every angle you observe from the scripture, you can't find an answer otherwise. So these people coming around and talking around, they are lunatics. They don't know how to do trade. They don't know how to handle the problem. They are so caught up in their own authority junk. They don't know how to do it. What did Yahweh said? Wars are prohibited at the moment because we are rebuilding. If China and the Soviets, they come together and go against this person, then it ends. Very quickly. But then, China is the factory of the world, and what nation then would not want to do trade with China? That's the problem. The situation is already showing itself. They understand China is going to leave the world's market. Why are they not then against China and the Soviet Union? So they recognize if China and the Soviets would be together against Syria, the war would be ended a long time ago. Showing the scripture is true. Or maybe some people should be expound in this topic. How come the rest of the world come together against Syria they can defeat him? Because the most powerful country is on their side, China. What does it say? China is going to lead. So then the war there as the people are then slaughtered, pure butchery, in such a scale we can never imagine. They're speaking of a truce for some time because of some sort of a holiday, religious. As long as we then would take the time and understand the prophecies of Yahweh. And understand what he has for the future. Understand China is going to lead the world's market. If the world would understand the leadership of China at the end, they would divert the focus of China in helping Syria and then place themselves, Chinese, in charge of the entire world. Because this is what's coming anyway. Could make a deal with them. 
we could withdraw from the South Sin by the China Sea, South China Sea, in exchange for their help in going towards and against Syria. And then as the Chinese then they get some space and near their country, then the Soviets obviously will have to back away from Syria and then the war is over. Oh, so they thought they had to handle it, huh? Because the problem is, is not what the other nations are doing against Syria. The main point in the whole situation is China. China is the holder of the whole war. Indirectly. But then the nations, they don't understand the times and the seasons. They don't know how to read the scripture. We should give China space in the South China Sea in exchange for their partnership with Syria. We should make a deal with them. So then instead of backing up a crazy leader destroying people, we then give China some leeway so then they can expand their military patrols. If the countries over there in South China Sea they have problems, we can visit at the UN. Plena Viao is absolutely perfect. They can't get around it. So the whole world indirectly they are observing a war going on and on and on because China is involved with it. If the Chinese withdraw their partnership with Syria the war ends. Simply ends. And sanctions and more sanctions because they are dealing with the most powerful nation in the world. The Chinese. And more sanctions. Sanctions means the other countries they don't have any power. Remove the Chinese from Syria, the war ends. And the only way we can do this is by giving them space in South China Sea. So they can expand their patrols. And beyond, because then when the war ends in Syria, then the Chinese simply they go over there and then give their materials to rebuild. The only reason why the Chinese is having then partnership with Syria is because the world does not want China to expand. So they hold on to it until they come to the realization. The country holding this war in place is China. But they don't know how to read. They don't understand the times and seasons. And then again, we go again and explain and explain and explain. They don't understand the times and the seasons. They don't understand what Shali Akshawul said. In terms of times and seas, you don't have to be educated, but they do have to be educated. If they would make a distinction of what the Chinese is doing versus then the leadership of the world per scripture, they would understand. You divert China from Syria, the war ends. But they don't know how to do the trade with it. The only recourse, sanctions. It doesn't work because the Chinese back them up.
then again and again and again, the nations are going to then come together and they are going to screw up. Because Yahweh has determined China is going to lead then the world's market. The war is prohibited. It is a time of rebuilding. Who is the country responsible for rebuilding? China. If you extend then the influence of China, diverting from the war, the war ends. And not only during the uh, South China Sea, but then they do patrols in the Middle East. That's precisely what the world wants. It's a very perfect exchange. We release ourselves from this huge responsibility and expensive deal of patrolled waters and the air and then the war ends. Scoundrel leaders of these nations, they only want to travel around, try to show off Stupid damn scoundrels. They have nothing to do. They are enjoying each other's incompetence. Going around, flying around, staying in nice hotels, talking around, talking junk. This is what you get for having pagans, non-Yahweh's understandable people. They always screwed up. <laughs> 